Um, when we last left you, we were inside of a 90s riffic. Yes. Sort of list about uh, all 90s products that 90s girls had to have. Absolutely. We were completely obsessed with them. No show on the radio embraces the 90s like Robin Cat does. No, not at all. So let's go ahead and finish this list up, please, Cat. Okay. Uh, glow in the dark stars. If you didn't have those on your bedroom ceiling, you were not a true teen in the 90s. This is the first one I can actually say that I had on this list. Yeah. Because, well, I guess I, I technically had some of those sticker things, but um, now mine may have been a little lamer because I believe mine came out of a box of Lucky Charms. Yeah, well, whatever, wherever they came from, that's that's not so much important. But I did have some of those glow in the dark things that went on my uh, my my on ceiling. Your ceiling. I had them too. I had them uh, actually. I had them on my ceiling and my walls. Nineties were so cool. They were. Um, I missed them. But I've I've had I bought Elizabeth glow in the dark stars a few years ago. Like they're still a thing. You can still get those. Hashtag I think everybody should have glow in the dark stars on their ceiling. Parenting win. <laughs> Um, let's see. Next on the list were hologram clothing and accessories. Uh, the whole hologram thing was a big deal. Like everything was iridescent and sparkly and mm -hmm. it was just, uh, uh, whether it was clothes or jewelry, there wasn't really much of anything in the nineties that screamed futuristic quite like the hologram look. Um, sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You had the, uh, the embellished jeans. That was a thing, whether it was beads or, or trim or embroidery, um, you know, your your fancy jeans, they, well, they made you feel fancy. Obviously, as a boy, I didn't have those things, but I do have, obviously, a strong affection to denim is that I still rock the jorts. Mm -hmm. No one is hanging on the jorts like I am. No, Rob. And I don't I don't care how many people think it's lame, uncool, whatever. <laughs> I look good in them. Yep. Uh, the long A-line skirts, those were a big thing in the 90s, particularly if you wore them with a chunky shoe and like a, a jean jacket. What is an A-line skirt? What separates uh, from a normal skirt? Okay, an A-line, it's, again, it's the silhouette. So um, it's long, so it goes to the ankle, uh, fitted at the waist, and then it just kind of goes like this, Rob. It just kind of comes down and kind and almost okay. like a triangle. Um, not really, really big on bottom, but not not a tight skirt either. And no pleats or, or I'm with you like now. flowiness to it. Believe it um, or not, I didn't have any of those. Okay. Uh, face and body glitter. Oh, my God. You were not a teen in the 90s if you did not have glitter. A teen girl. A teen girl. Well, you <laughs> if you were making out with the right teen girl, you probably had glitter, too. This may come as a big surprise. I wasn't making out with any teen <laughs> girls in the 90s. Um, but, yeah, you, I mean, you, you had to have sparkles. You had to have sparkles on your eyelids. You had to have sparkles all over. I had a little a little pot of silver glitter that went everywhere. Oh, it that... It just you, you glittered. It just... It was a thing. Oh, that Rob Hirschfield. He's got such beefy breasts and beautiful jorts. <laughs> Let me rub my glitter all over his face. Oh, God. Ew. Yeah, something gross. Oh, and I love that haircut that resembles the a penis. That's a, it, I, I let that me, set you apart from I, the pack, didn't I it, Rob? I cannot keep my hands off that Rob Hirschfield. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I was uh, I was girl repellent. Yep. Um, Tibetan prayer bead bracelets. Those became a really big thing in oh the 90s God, again, too. Oh, my God, I do too. remember the Tibetan yep. thing. It was like it, it was really just like a trendy thing. Yep, you had to wear it. But it, was, it was best to wear several of them at a time. Um, I wore I wore jelly bracelets in the 90s. Like those were those were my thing. I wore like black and hot pink glitter jelly bracelets all the time. Like they never came off. I had I had a th thick stack of them like this on my arm at all times. I almost feel like this is a list for like '90s hippie teens. No, there's a good bit of hippie stuff on here. Is there? All right. I feel like it. Um, saris. What the, are saris? Um, the new song were, from Justin Bieber. No, it's a it's a a, a piece of um. It's a garment. It's a piece of clothing. Uh, Gwen Stefani wore one when she did the whole bindi thing for a while. The um, the Middle Eastern, it's a traditional Middle Eastern um, outfit. Okay. Piece of clothing. Oh, right, um, right. I was in a wedding that involved a sari. Yes. It, it should have involved many saris, but there was one specific sari I remember. <laughs> uh, everything had celestial patterns on it and you wanted all of it. Whether it was your journal or your shower curtain or the little trinket box that you kept in your bedroom, everything had like a sun, moon, and stars on it. Mm -hmm. And uh, even my cereal had stars, moons, suns. That was your lucky charms, rainbows. Rob. Right, yeah. Uh, there was like a balloon. I remember a horseshoe. 
Yeah, all sorts of celestial mm-hmm. stuff. Yep. Um, your customized day planner, because you had to have a day planner. It had to be super cool, and it had to, you know, you had to keep track of, you your know, homework. your homework, right? Um, but before you could, you could express yourself with the um, the individuality of your phone case. You had a day planner that oh, you yeah. would carry around, and you know it had to be awesome and it had to be customized. It was the equivalent of a phone case by today's standards. Yeah, pretty much. Um, the these were huge. I doubt you'll remember these. Uh, Jane Cosmetics. Yeah, I have no idea what you're talking about. So before you know, before women my age discovered you know name brand cosmetics like Mac and Sephora and and all that you were you were hitting you know Target and you were picking up your Jane you, their eyeshadows came in all different colors like purple and blue and orange and yellow and they were that vibrant bright 90s thing and um yeah everybody had Jane cosmetics and then you had the uh, you had the overlay dresses which were when you had um, the dress had two layers to it. So you had a solid layer and then you had a sheer layer that went over the outside of the solid layer of material. Okay. Those were a huge thing. And hair wraps. I never had a hair wrap. I'm a little disappointed in myself that I never had a hair wrap in the 90s. You rocked a perm though. That might have been the 80s. Um, That was the, that was the early, early, early 90s. By the, time, by the time high school rolled around, I'd pretty much given up the perm. Listen, I'm not making any jokes. I told you what my hair looked like. I know. Do you know what a hair, the hair wraps were? It was where they would take the chunk of hair and then they would wrap it in like embroidery floss and they'd put like um, little metal uh, trinkety charm things in it. And now I know you're talking yeah, about. I never had one of those. I always wanted one, but I never had one of those. So that's the only thing on the list that like wasn't relevant to me. So you had like a pretty definitive 90s childhood, it sounds like. Yeah. So that's everything? Mm-hmm. I had the hypercolor shirts. Do you remember those? Mm-hmm. But I, I also associate those more 80s, I guess. But maybe oh. maybe early 90s. Yeah. My brother had one. I never really had one. They were great until you washed it and then it stopped working. Or like they would just like get different color around the armpits, you know, yeah. after, after a nice sweaty day or whatever. 